Hillary told Trump assassination attempt newly uncovered footage shows figure on route second before gunfire. So let's watch this. Oh, of course, you got to love ads. So we'll start it from the beginning when we get this ad out the way. So you do it, you do it live and shit. So it is what it is. I'm on. All right, what are we looking at here? This is no sound. This is no sound. Body cam footage show crux on roof. Hmm. Okay, that's the water tower, the famous water tower. Okay. The body cam, this is a cop. Oh, yeah, you see it. Yep, you see the little figure. Yep, you see it right here. You see it? my mouse is that? Yep. You do see somebody on the roof. I see something moving anyway. Yup, you see it. Yup, you see it right here? My mouse? Yup, you do see a figure on the roof. Get instant approval to lease up to $5,000 in furniture, appliances, electronics, and more. Get Why don't audio this? It's a damn cop. We should have audio. Did they kill the audio because somebody was speaking something or saying something? Where's the audio that goes with this? Oh, man, this is fishy. No, you see, yep, you see him running on the roof. Why is not the audio? Where's the audio from the officer who, who's showing, whose body cam is showing this footage? Where's the audio at? Let me see. A deep dive into the recent released body cam footage of the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump appears to show the shooting suspect walking on top of the roof just minutes before he managed to fire off his deadly rounds at the campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania last month. The new footage, the new unearthed footage sheds further light onto the assassination attempt and seconds leading up to the July 13th shooting. When stabilized and zoom in one of the body cam clips, Released by Butler's Township Police Department shows a shadowy figure emerging on top of the American Glass Research uh, Complex building at 608. A couple of minutes before he fired, he fired his first shots. The police office who body cam, body cam captured the figure is walking in a green area on the east side of the AGR complex near the water tower when the body camera captain who is believed to be thomas matthews crux 20 year old roof hopper and made his way to the southernmost structure of the complex another figure like the police officer can be seen walking on the grounds on the opposite direction of crux and appears unaware that the shooter is on the roof the footage shows in the intervening minute minutes the police officer can be seen communicating with others officers and then patrolling the giant, the giant uh, car parked. His body cam does not have sound. Why? Why doesn't his body cam have any sound? As the figure disappear again, the officer body cam scrux footage scrux six oh nine. Meaning, Crux took about two and a half minutes to set himself up and shoot at Trump and other attendees based on the time stamp from other police body cam footages. I want to know why his body cam doesn't have no sound. Can any body cam be kind of, you got to have the audio and the sound just for go to court and uh, hear, hear and see what happened. So why did this guy body cam have no sound? That, oh man, this, these people, man. And I'm not even mad at the actual local police department. I'm I'm pissed off at our fucking federal government and the Secret Service, goddamn, not protecting Trump and allowing this shit to go happen. Because it was an inside job. It's it's man. This is another reason why they can't just have Trump, Trump, win and go in like this. They need to as well because they know, man. 
a lot of chaos or some bullshit. The fact that said, because Trump get in and they get to get a third party, a independent actual investigation of this shit. Oh man, people going to jail. They know it. And like I said, this is not going to be a clean. This is not going to be a clean election. This is not going to be a clean transfer of power. This is going to be some fuckery going on so, as well. This until who knows. This is not going to be easy, guys. Like I said, we're not willing to reunite and fight. It could be. It's a wrap already. Several Secret Service employees put on administrative duties following Trump's assassination attempt. I want to know why did it take over a month, month and a half for you could put these people on administrative duties or leave. This should have happened days, if not the next day after the assassination attempt. Everybody on his detail, everybody had plans of that detail, security plan, whatever the case, should have been on administrative leave or the administrative roles. That's opinion, further investigations. Of course, the federal employees, you just can't. We know I'm a federal employee and federal government. You can't just fire them. No. You need a hell of a lot of cost to do that. But at the same time, you can take them off of active duty, active roster, active fucking service until a further investigation comes up. They could be in administrative roles. They could be on administrative leave or suspended or suspension until a full investigation happens. You, they could have did that the day immediately, the next day after. Why it took this long? Well, a month, month and a half later, so we can get some these employees, secret service agents on administrative duties. Now, act like you're doing something. It's bullshit. Multiple secret service personnel from the Pittsburgh field office and one member of the Donald Trump security detail involved in advance planning for Trump's July 13th rally had been reassigned to administrative duties and ordered to work from home, a source familiar with the matter tells CNN. The move comes after the Secret Service continued to face criticism for the security failures that allowed a gunman to fire eight rounds at the former president, piercing Trump ear and leaving one rally going to dead in Butler, Pennsylvania. The Secret Service had been under a missed pressure from lawmakers to discipline or fire those involved in the preparation for the rally. Active Deputy Director Ronald Rowe Jr. have told lawmakers he'd intend to wait until after the investigation was completed before issuing any disciplinary action. The agency is undergoing multiple inquiries, including an internal review, congressional investigation, and an independent commission and panel by the Department of Homeland Security. This was a Secret Service failure, Roll told reporters during a news, news conference earlier this month. A clear shift in tone from when the agency previously pointed blame on locals for their failure to keep eye on would-be Trump assassin Thomas Crux, Crux that day. That roof should have been covered. The U.S. Secret Service is committed to investigating and dis discuss decisions and action of personnel related to the events in Butler, Pennsylvania, and the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. The Secret Service, the U.S. Secret Service mission, a quality assurance abuse is, is in going, and we are investigating the process, procedures, and factors that led to this operational failure. Anthony Gullen, Chief of Communication for the U.S. Secret Service, said in a statement this Friday. The U.S. Secret Service hold our personnel to the highest professional standards and any identify, identify and subtle violation of policies will be investigated by the Office of Professional Responsibility for potential discipline action. Given that the personnel matters, we are not in the position to comment further. Of course you're not. So now they finally, if the investigation is fully over with, I want a full more details of what they found. Why was he have a cryptic communication with foreign, with foreign fucking countries? He know he's not the only one involved in this shit. Who was he he's involved with? What are the foreign governments? <laughs> I don't even think foreign government. Our own government. Who in our government is he involved with and talking to? Who is he fully contacted with? Who is he involved with? And who, what is going on? We all know. This is all bullshit. This this 20-year-old is not alone. 
He's not by himself. We know that for a fact. We know for sure. Same time, we're going to mm, – this story, they're trying to keep bearing this story. They don't want this to get out, and I don't think it will get out. Not until Trump get in office, and even with that, I don't think we'll know the full truth because they're getting rid of evidence right now. And the longer this go by without fully transparent interview or information put out to the public, we're going to lose out and see what really happened that day, what led up to that day, who he was communicating with, who trained him, who could train him to make pipe bombs remote detonating bombs and shit. Who was he in fully contact with? They could say Iran and the foreign countries trying to start a war. We know that. But no, this wasn't just, this wasn't no foreign country or affairs. This was our own government. When I say our government hates us, God damn it, I mean every word of that. This was not a foreign, foreign countries or foreign affair. This is our own government, guys. We all know that. It's the inside job, and you can't tell me no difference. They can go, fuck off. What I'm saying, I'm not afraid to talk up and speak out and call motherfuckers out. I mean that shit. Our own government hates us. And you better train and prepare like you know better. We are not out of the woods yet. Now, yesterday, with RFK and everybody going over to Trump, we are in for a fight for our lives. I hope we are ready for it. We're going to be ready for it because we are backed by God. They're backed by Satan. Who you think wins? Better. We're back with breaking news this morning. NBC News is learning multiple Secret Service agents have been put on leave after the this attempt is the on Donald video Trump's video Joining us now, Ooh. NBC's Julia uh, Ainsley. Julia, good morning. What do we know? Well, we know that there are multiple Secret Service officials who have been put on leave. This is because of this ongoing internal investigation, mm -hmm. one of many that were launched in the wake of that July 13th assassination attempt in Butler, Pennsylvania. Among those put on leave is a special agent in charge of the Pittsburgh field office. That was the field office in charge of coming up with that plan that allowed the roof that the shooter gained access to Trump from to be outside of the Secret Service's perimeter. They left that to local law enforcement, and it's not clear that they had any conversation with lo local law enforcement to make sure that they themselves would be on top of that roof or secure securing that rooftop in any way. This is something that the acting director recently said he would make sure that if anyone in the course of that investigation were found to have violated policies, that they would be put on leave and that they wouldn't wait until the end of the investigation for that to happen. Now, the exact number, we don't know yet. I'm told it's around five or six. That number could be changing by the day mm, as they continue this all, investigation. A lot more. It's not clear if these agents or uh, officials may come back into the agency later on if they've been cleared. But for now, we're told they are put on leave, which is a form of a disciplinary action as a result of their actions taking in the planning and in the response to that assassination attempt on July 13th. Mm. There should be a lot more than just five or six in there. They, more than administratively, they should be. Mm. If the investigation of them over right now, and they find out like they, they didn't do their job, they should be fired.